guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Welcome if you are new. I thought today I would do something a little bit different. I started to make my little to-do list for the weekly reset which is here. And then I thought, wait a minute, it's the 1st of September. Like it's very much not the 1st of September when you watch this, but it's the 1st of September. I should do like a monthly reset. How often does the first of the month fall on a Sunday? Probably fairly often, but today is a Sunday. So I went on to trusty friend ChatGPT and went, hi, can you write me a to-do list of all the things I should do to reset my flat life and routine in a monthly reset? And lo and behold, out comes a list. So it's split it into, I think it's five sections. And I think I'm gonna follow them. I mean, there's a couple of things on here that aren't in there, but I need to do. So like, I need to do some, I need to wrap a present for a friend and I need to sort out some birthday cards and they're not on there because that's quite specific. But it goes into these kind of sections. So you've got home slash flat reset. It said that because I've put the word flat in there, but home slash flat reset. So. That's split into four categories. Declutter, deep clean, reorganize and restock. Apologies for the sunlight. Personal life reset, which is split into new goals, review calendar, journal and reflect and digital detox. You've then got a financial reset, which is review your finances, pay your bills and set your budget for the month ahead. We've got a wellness and self care reset, which is a health check in, mental wellness, sleeping routine and reconnect socially. You've then got growth and hobbies, learn something new and review progress. And then a mindset reset, which is a positive affirmation and gratitude and a mental declutter. I don't feel like I do those last two things, as in the growth and hobbies and mindset reset at all. But I just thought it'd be quite diff different to like follow this reset. So if I turn you around, this is currently in a massive list in ChatGPT. I'm gonna transfer it into a spreadsheet with little tick boxes off. And I'm gonna tick through things and I can show you how far I get through. It's quite a extensive list. I have to say, I think ChatGPT has done a pretty good job. Like that's their list and this was mine. My list add to the clothes washing, sort out. So my skincare cupboard needs a quick sort out. I don't think it needs like a whole declutter. That's why I don't want it to be a whole video, but it needs a whole little sort out. Clean the makeup brushes, clear out my emails. I need to go to the gym, update my habit tracker, wrap presents, sort out some birthday cards, fill my project 10 pan and go food shopping. So some of those things I think align in some of these sections, but I'm going to copy this in to a Google, call it sheet. How very exciting. Now little tick boxes. Honestly, Google Sheet tick boxes are my favourite thing. Insert tick box. What I'll do also is I will share this Google Sheet in the description box so that you can see everything that ChatGPT has put in my monthly research because this is what I'm going to work through. I probably won't do all of it because that's way too much to do in one day, but I will do a decent chunk. I think if we start with the home reset, and work our way down from there. So number one is declutter. So the first thing is clothes you haven't worn in months. To be honest, I just did a clothes declutter. So that will be a couple of weekends ago. So I'm gonna tick that as done. The next one is expired products. So let me take you over to the skincare where they're not exactly expired, but they are things that I don't want. Most of my skincare lives in the wardrobe, if you haven't seen that before. They have had a relatively recent declutter, but there are some things in here that I don't want. I need to put these away. So these, oh, there's my to-do list thing. This is a mask and a face mask. So these are face creams and face oils. And some of these I'm just not going to use. So I'm going to get rid of these two. These are the Skin Doctors advanced lightning complex face creams um i'm probably not going to use these these are the lancome regen red oh, i can't say that those two and i don't think i'm going to use this this wrinkle smoothing cream and then i'm not going to use this this is the new daily defense moisturizer vitamin c do i think i'm going to use this probably not well that was a clear out and a half this is what i'm using currently is my travel one i don't ever use these little sachets and why I keep them then that one looks lovely that one can go don't need that much oil so these are my two things I'm keeping out of this drawer and then this is a spare razor 
I think that drawer is done. I think this drawer is the one that's going to get the most thrown out of it. But the second drawer is relatively empty, I have to say. I've got my backup toner because my toner is nearly finished. A little sachet that I'm not going to use. This is my travel bottle for shower gel. I've got a big bottle of the shower gel still in the shower. These are the eye creams. One thing I'm not going to use is this eye serum. I'm just not an eye serum person. Don't really like that in you range very much, you know. And then I've got a Medic eye cream. And then in here, this is so confusing. So this is a antibacterial hand gel that smells like the This Works like bed spray thing that you can buy. So when you use it on your hands, it smells like bedtime. It's very confusing. And then I've got two hand creams in here, which are both great. So this drawer is relatively unchanged. Then in here, we've got serums and oils. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I think otherwise, these can all stay. This is my favourite serum, like, ever, but it's really expensive. And then these can all stay. This bottle looks so fun. These can all stay, so that's relatively unchanged. This is face washes, which feels like a lot, but I do go through face washes. I think I'm going to just keep it all, you know. I'm going to get rid of the cleansing bar, because I'm just not a cleansing bar person. And the sachets. We all know how I feel about sachets. And then we've got face masks in here, which I am actually working my way through so they can stay. But I think there's a declutter I can do with these. So I'm just going to get rid of the Primark ones. This one, and these two have been in there for suspiciously long, so they can go too. Next we get to sunscreen, and this is like hair styling. So what's in here? I've got a few different types of after suns. So I've got a aloe vera jelly and then like an after sun itself. I think I might keep both of those. And then this is my current sunscreen, so they can stay. This is a mousse, a hairspray and a liquid hairspray, so they can all stay. Blow dry spray, that can stay. I'm working my way through some of these oils, which I will 100% do eventually. To be fair, I will actually work my way through all of these. So I think I might just keep them all. And then next door down, this is like hair cleaning. So you've got some dry shampoos. I've got quite a few different ones in here. Oh, a little shampoo. Shampoo, some hair masks. These are my travel bottles. And then these, I know I need to get rid of. This is really sad. So these are the Amika refillable bottles. And Amika made these like refillable shampoo and conditioners and I got gifted them. But they didn't make them anymore. So now I've got these two plastic bottles that I can't actually buy the refillables for, which is just really annoying because i do love amika but and i have a tiara which i had this for my hendu so i might just keep it i'll put it in the memory box when that comes and that is the skincare drawers quickly sorted through and here's a little pile of things we're gonna get rid of i think that's the only drawers that need like a declutter that i don't want to be their own thing because i still need to do my books or i need to do the rest of my makeup but i think they will form part of like an actual declutter so yeah this is some skin carry bits i'm gonna get rid of and then these are the updated drawers so beautifully empty pretty much empty but that was before i got here a few bits and bobs to work through this drawer is slightly chaotic but these are things that i use i double cleanse in the morning and in the evening so i will definitely work my way through these eventually i've got hair styling which is a similar situation i will work my way through those and then i've got hair cleansing which is primarily just dry shampoo these are going to go, and I can tick another thing off of this list. So, the next thing to do is a deep clean. I think I might deep clean this room and then the kitchen. And while I do that, I'm going to put the washing on. Cue a little time lapse.
is lovely and clean. So I would say we've done the home and flat reset section. The things I haven't really done is refresh decor. We're not really a de refresh decor kind of people. We just kind of have the same decor all year round, apart from Christmas. So I've got nothing to really update. <laughs> and I haven't yet washed the bed linens because we only have one clothes drying rack and it's got clothes on it. So I can't really wash the bed sheets. That is one thing I'm very much looking forward to when we have a house with a garden is that we can dry things outside or in other rooms. <laughs> So we could dry more than one thing at once. But yeah, we can't do the bed sheets until the clothes are dry. But I've done everything else and the flat is looking tip top. I have decluttered and sorted out the cupboards so that I can get a bit of a, a sense check on what we actually need and what we've still got to eat. So that's all been done. The next section is personal life reset. So the first section is life goals i have a life goal tracker i also expected myself to look significantly more put together while i was going through this but i have a life goal tracker in my spreadsheets because i love a spreadsheet and i'm actually making pretty damn good progress with a lot of the personal and finance goals i put on there driving license sorted it credit card sorted it i've hit my saving goal for the year which is nuts considering it's September, but I've hit that. We tried living in the place we want to buy in. I smashed past the 50 book goal that I set and I'm at 95 books, so I'm nearly at 100 books. I want to finish 50 makeup products. I need to film the next Project 10 Pan update, which has a few more in it. So I'm not quite there, but I'm not like a million miles away. I have a dinner party a month. I am very much on track for that. Explore six new places. I've got one more goal to hit there. So not sure what that will be at the moment. The bit where I've like absolutely lost it is the health section. So I'm definitely still walking at least 10,000 steps a day on average. I've hit that goal every single week of the year. So that one on track, even when I temporarily dislocated my knee, I popped out and then popped back in again. Even that week, I somehow managed to do 10,000 steps a week. Like I, that goal... I am so down, I'm really here for. And then the other goal I've like absolutely smashed is bringing in at least one lunch a week. The two goals that I've like absolutely lost, one is drinking two liters of water a day. I could do that sometimes. I'm not doing it all the time. I need to get back on that. I need to like, there's a water bottle on the bedside table, which is a liter. And I think I need to get another one for the office. I think that's what it is. I think I lost my office liter bottle and the glasses in our office are really small. So I think I need to get another two litre water bottle. I think I might order that now. Should I get it? It has to be clear, otherwise I'm just gonna forget all about it. Arriving tomorrow. So that will fix that one. I think when I have a water bottle on my desk that I have to like sip from, I tend to be fine. I have gone to the gym eight weeks of the year. We are currently in week 35. So I failed so hardly at that one. It's absolutely shocking. And I think it's a habit thing. I think I need to get it into my brain as a habit. So today we're gonna to go to the gym and at least we'll be at nine out of 52 weeks. So flopped at that one. YouTube smashing that upload, Instagram flopping that upload. So the two, the three things, three things I need to address in my goals that I'm currently nowhere near on track is going to the gym, which I'm gonna help address today. Drinking two liters of water, which I have sorted out part of the reason why I don't do that and Instagram, which is a whole different beast. But yeah, I would say we're pretty much on track. I'm absolutely smashing some of my goals. I don't think I need to adjust my goals. I think they're still in a really good place. I just need to sort some stuff out, which I'm doing. The next thing is to review the calendar and the schedule. So we have a calendar in the living room and I have my work calendar. And I think I need to like align the two for September. So I'm gonna get the calendar. I'm gonna open up my work calendar on my computer and let's get like matching. I'm in my gym gear. I'm about to head off to the gym. The only personal goals I haven't done is restocking because we need to go to the supermarket later. Actually, I think that might even be in the flat thing. We need to do a restock, but that will go to the shop after lunch. Uh, I haven't done a journal and a reflex. To be honest, I'm not a massive like journal person, so I just 
don't know if I'll ever do that, but yeah, I haven't done that. And I haven't planned for extra costs because I don't really have many. And I haven't organised receipts or invoices because I just don't, I don't have that. But I've done all of the personal life and finance research things. I didn't really film them. Some of them are obviously a bit personal, like finance. I don't want to show you guys my finance, but some of them are just quite boring. So I had over 500 unread emails in my inbox. I've cleared through all of those and yeah, I have unsubscribed from a load of them because I just don't need that many emails every month. <laughs> I've sorted out the photos on my phone. I've paid a couple of bills that need paying. I've moved some money around so it sits in savings accounts with better interest rates. And we've now got to the wellness and self-care reset. So it feels like the right time now to go to the gym. I haven't been to the gym in a very, very long time. I think I've just downloaded a YouTube video on my phone and I think I'm just gonna go on the running machine on the cross trainer or something and just do a bit of cardio, just like ease myself back into it. And then, yeah, I think I might then plan out some workouts for the rest of the month. But yeah, I'm feeling very good. I've cleared out a lot of stuff. I'm feeling a bit more like free, a bit more like organized um, time. To go to the gym. I'm just gonna put on a lip a bit of lip balm. This is the glossierbalm.com universal salve. It's part of Project Ten Pan. I'm making really good progress with it. So I'm gonna get my water bottle and head to the gym, which has been such a long time coming. Mm -hmm. Come on, readjust. You've got this. It's not that yellow. I've got back from the gym. I did half an hour on the treadmill of three minutes of walking on speed six and two minutes of running on speed 8.5. It's actually really nice. Like it was like, I was tired, I was breathing heavily and I was sweating, but I wasn't like dying. <laughs> so it like, it pushed me enough that I could feel like I was at the gym but not push me so much that like, I was like, I don't ever wanna do this again. You know, it was like a nice, level of gym. I think I might try and do that in the morning before work. Oh, it's over there, on set. This is my self-care moment and I've got my protein shake. I've got some of these sachets A to finish before we move, partly because they go out of date in October and partly just because I want to finish them before I move. Just made a little one. Oh, it's strong. I put a bit too much powder in. As I said, I have now showered, washed, been to the gym, got my smoothie. In a little bit, I'm gonna go and make lunch. We're gonna have a salad, because I've got loads of salad bits in the fridge to use up. I'm gonna put some chicken in the oven so that, that can like cook before then. A lot of the wellness and self-care reset things is about reflecting on habits, planning for habits. I do think I like the basis of this monthly reset, but I think I might tweak it for like me because I don't necessarily do a lot of like reflecting and maybe I should. I like how in the growth and hobby section it says read a new book. Like I read too many books. And speaking of, I'm gonna take 20 minutes out in the sunshine because the sun has now come up and start reading my book. So. This is the book that I'm currently re going to read because I haven't even started it yet. The uh, bookmark is literally in the front cover. This is Ashley Poston's The Seven Year Slip. Her first book, The Dead Romantics, was a five star read for me. I just loved it so much. And I think this is the one that everyone absolutely adores from her. So I'm very much looking forward to it. Also the book club book at work, which I think is on either Wednesday or Thursday next week. So I need to have this read by then anyway. So. Yeah, I'm going to sit on the bench out in the sun for 20 minutes or so and read this book and then I'm going to go in, sort out the chicken, have some lunch. So last time we got that one, but then I kind of think this is nicer. You'll have to excuse the sound of the dishwasher, but we did a little monthly shop. So we get veg delivered by Oddbox, so hence why there's no veg in here. We still do have plenty of cans and tins. These are all the bits we need to stock up on for the month of September. So, should we have a little peruse? Cheddar rice, ketchup, 
bread, a fajita kit, pasta, bananas, eggs, chocolate chips, because I'm going to make some chocolate muffins next week, salmon, two things of beef mince, some burgers, two packs of sausages, chicken, pork loin. So basically it was a meat shop and then a few other bits and bobs needed to pick up. So I'm going to pop this in the cupboard. As I mentioned, this cupboard is actually pretty well stocked. So they've still got plenty of like tins and things and like herbs and whatnot there. The fridge was looking a bit empty in the fridge. I mean the freezer, sorry. The freezer looking, this is our meat drawer, very empty. A little stock up was needed and these are the bits that we've picked up. Also look at these flowers. So I bought these flowers on Friday, today is Sunday. And look how pretty they are, I'm obsessed. They are gladioli lilies and then there's like a little sprig of green and I'm obsessed, they're absolutely stunning. I can't wait for the lilies to open. I feel like we're gonna get the gladioli first and then they'll die out as the lilies come into their own. And I'm obsessed, it's so stunning. But yeah, I need to pop these things away and then we will go from there. Everything's been put away. So in this cupboard, you'll see the fajita kit. The rice thing has been refilled up. And then we've got now three of these containers filled with pasta. So one will be used for the pasta sauce there, but we'll also use them at other times. And then here's how the freezer is looking. So I pop the bread in the top. We've got a whole drawer now of meat, which will solve us for a, about a month. And then in here is still frozen veg. In the fridge, we've got all of the eggs. We go through a lot of eggs. I freaking love eggs. So they're all laid out there. Put the cheese here. We're having burgers for dinner tomorrow because we've still got some leftover burger buns. This is leftover cookie dough, the chicken for tonight, and then the leftover veg from the odd box. So the peppers that we're going to eat tonight alongside some onions. And then these we're going to eat on Monday evening. So yeah, I think we are all stocked up. It's all been put away. It is quite a lot later. It is now half past nine. We have had dinner. We have cleaned up. I pretty much smash this to-do list and I've also created a new hobby so I have started a book journal because I thought it was fun so this is my monthly spread for the first six months of the year and then this is the monthly spreads for the next six months of the year August got so silly they all had to be single lines rather than like double lines <laughs> I then left a space ready for the book club books of work because our work has a book club where we read books I think we're on seven so far for this year I want to say so when we know how many books there are I'm going to stick them in there and then I've got my little series tracker with all the series zizz that I am either finished or very nearly finished they go over onto the second page but so I've got the Thursday Murder Club Eddie Flynn which I didn't realize I've been reading books that are part of a series but Eddie Flynn the Empyrean, which is the fourth wing one, Good Girl's Guide to Murder, Akatar, Knock Em Out, Caraval, Shatter Me, One of Us Is Lying, The Folk of the Air, Red Rising, Magnolia Parks, Chaos Walking, Powerless, The Circle, and Finley Donovan. And there you go, that is my little book journal. It says it's a bullet journal on the front, but I'm using it for bookish purposes. It's my brand called Pimpel Mies. Thing. The reason why I really like it, I bought it from TK Maxx, but the reason why I really like it is the pages are so thick. So when you consider I have been using pens to colour in the books and it's not bled through into the next page, like, at all, it's actually quite astonishing. This is what I've been spending my kind of evening doing. I don't think I'm going to get into, like, monthly spreads or anything yet. I mean, I don't really do, like, monthly TBRs at the moment, so I kind of have no reason to do any more than just like this six month spread but I imagine this book will last me beyond this year so we shall see but that was a fun little activity I used the felt tip liners I have from my colouring in book so they've kind of got like a dual purpose now but that was fun and yeah it is now 9.30 I think I've done everything on the monthly reset that I would realistically do I think there's a few things on there that I just just aren't really me but yeah i finished we're reset the new month is ready be my very last month 
all things going to plan in London which is wild but um roll on September I know you're probably watching this as we're basically rolling into October but roll on September and I hope you guys enjoyed if you did give it a thumbs up click subscribe leave a comment all of those kinds of wonderful things and I will see you guys in my next video bye